How about you? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today I've got to organize all my implements from underneath this pole barn. You can see behind me, I got this camper. Well, I want to put it in the bay of this pole barn, and so I'm going to rearrange my implements to get that done. You guys stick around and watch what I do. I gotta get this six foot EA landscape rake put over here to the side. I wanna try to get all my implements, I wanna keep them close to the pole barn. So I set this one off to the side. I think that once we pull the trailer into the, or the camper into the bay, he'll still be able to access it. And so one thing I really like about this EA landscape rake is it has a kickstand. That's a pretty cool feature. You just slap that sucker on there, take that pin out, drop that kickstand, and then you just, drop your quick hitch if you don't have a quick hitch or a pat's easy change i highly recommend getting one for your tractor so i got the levers pulled up now watch this as i get back on the tractor i i go to lower my quick hitch and sometimes i can i can uh, kind of bounce it off if you will but sometimes what you have to do is you actually have to get back off the tractor and then kind of let's call it let's persuade it to come out of the implement itself and I think that's because, well, I know it's because my top hook is too wide. So I can take it to, a, I need to take it to a grinder or uh, somehow I need to make the top hook more narrow because it gets stuck in my rake and in my box blade. Uh, here I'm going to simply just back up to the bush hog, my six foot wide bush hog. And I'm not even going to worry about the top hook on this one. I'm just going to move it 10 feet away. So I'm just going to lift it up grab it with the bottom hooks and take off with it. Now this is pretty funny right here as I start to back up, you know, I get it in a position where I want it to go and I start to back up and uh, my niece is actually, I, I employ a lot of family members when they come over. So uh, I'm employing my niece right now to uh, be my camera woman as she's there and she's like, oh my god you're gonna hit me <laughs> so uh, I had to cut that scene a little short because she got scared I was gonna hit her but anyway so we got it uh, got the bush hog set down now let's back up to this box blade I did a video earlier about the quick hitch and I talked about marking your top hook and because your top hook is going to be different depths for different implements and so again I can get out look at my top hook look at the markings that I have on the side of my quick hitch adjust the top hook to match the marking that I have for my box blade and put that thing back in there hey if you like content like this hit that subscribe button it's a little red button below the video we'd appreciate it helps the channel we're doing really good by the way with all your support thanks a lot so let's uh, get back on the tractor and back this thing up about right here my niece is getting nervous again she's like, oh my goodness please don't hit me but I'll be real careful Get her lined up. Nice and steady. Raise it up. Be good to go. And now I'm ready to use this box blade. Notice that left handle didn't go all the way down. Well, I got to get off the tractor and kind of persuade it like I did the EA rake go into that bottom hook there because I'm fixing to use this uh, box blade to do some work on a driveway that's why I need it to be secured to the quick hitch but you know as part of owning a tractor you've got to make adjustments okay so I was able to get my implements moved the thing I have to consider is um, water drainage getting in the way he's going to pull that camper out put the camper in uh, I initially wanted to put the bush hog behind the pole barn but then I thought oh man the the length of the camper it will extend past the pole barn and so I couldn't access that bush hog uh, if I put it where I originally had planned for putting it eventually you know of course I'd like to get like a concrete pad or something I could put all my implements on wouldn't that be nice you know it's a, unfortunately they charge for concrete y'all <laughs> did y'all know that I, you know that stuff's expensive so but we'll get it all worked out right now I'm just getting it kind of maneuvered so my buddy can put his camper in here keep it keep it under the element uh, keep it away from the elements while it's under the pole barn but Hey, listen, I appreciate you watching the video. There's going to be a little white barn pop up over here. 
uh, that will take you to our subscribe page if you like kind of hobby farm small farm type of work we'd love for you to hit that subscribe page uh, that subscribe button that would really help us out but we've got a whole playlist of uh, the old Mahindra 4540 doing a lot of work. We'd love for you to go take a, take a look at some of those videos, see what it does, and uh, just stick around Hamiltonville Farm for a little bit. You guys take care, and we'll see you on the next video.